All right, this is a Grim Reminders Awakening Edition Archon deck opening. Um, who knows what we'll get? Well, it'll be an Awakening deck. I haven't seen the uh, treatment for this in person yet, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. This little tab doesn't actually peel as easily as... I think it ought to. Hmm, very cool. Definitely, definitely have to sleeve that. I think, I think that would just be too easy to have kind of marked. Um. All right. Interesting. The. Hmm. Oh yeah, my uh, vanity decks were not, didn't have a little flap, but these do, so okay. I guess that's going to be on them, and that's good. So this is Althea, <clears throat> Boundless Town Advisor. Uh, that's kind of fun. It's very close to my daughter's name, not quite it, but close. Uh, and we have... Unfathomable, Geistoid, and Starlights. Very fun. Uh, I haven't really seen Unfathomable much in this set, so I'm excited to, to dig into it. All right. I really do love the border here. Very cool. Um, okay, so the first thing we have here is Protective Playmate. It's a three-power specter with taunt. While you're haunted, Protective Playmate gets plus six power. Otherwise, it gets elusive. I think this is tied to something else, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, yeah, so plus six power, otherwise elusive. Wow. Demo Eldergast is a three power specter and robot with two armor. It enhances with two captures, so we'll see those come up later. And each friendly creature with amber on it gains destroyed. If you are haunted, gain one for each amber on this creature. That's really interesting. Hmm. Wow. Be our Geist. Action with an Amber. Got a capture on it. <clears throat> play. Choose a creature in any haunted player's discard pile. Play that creature as if it were in your hand. <clears throat> this, yeah, really seems like such a good card. Got another Be our Geist without a capture. Third Be our Geist. Excellent. Not going to complain about that. And a Boo to help with it. That's great. So Boo is an action with an Amber. When you play it, you discard the top cards of a player, the top ten cards of a player's deck. That should make them haunted in almost every circumstance. And uh, you can do it to yourself or to your opponent. So I really like that. That's great with three BR Geist. And another Boo. Okay, wow. Then Harvest Skimmer is a five power Spectre and Robot. This is after Reap. Discard the top card of your deck. If it's a creature, gain one. Okay. <clears throat> That's just okay. Uh, Snippy's a three-power Spectre robot with Skirmish and play deal two to a creature. If you scrap it, you destroy an enemy flank creature. Uh, That's a pretty nice effect on Scrap. And another Snippy. Okay. Then we have Touchstone. This is a four-power Spectre with After Reap. If you're haunted, draw two cards. Otherwise, discard the top two cards of your deck. And this got a discard icon on it. Um, I really like Touchstone. It seems it seems really good. Um, there's so many ways to make sure you stay haunted in this set, and so uh, Reap Draw too. It's just it's a great effect. Oh wow! And then we have Winds of Death, an action that says play each player <clears throat> archives each creature from their discard pile, destroy each creature. So. Yep. Get stuff back. Wow. All right. On to Star Alliance. First off, we have Elliot, a four power robot that has play after fight after reap. You may play an upgrade from your discard pile on Elliot. Okay. And uh, if you scrap Elliot, you shuffle all upgrades from play into their owner's deck. Ooh. Wow. Some interesting anti upgrade tech potentially. That's cool. 
Uh, Badge of Unity would not be good on Elliot. Uh, it says this creature, it's an upgrade that says this creature belongs to Star Alliance in addition to its other houses. Um, I was playing with another deck and used this on Touchstone, and that seemed pretty good. Event Horizon is an action with an amber. When you play it, you discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard an action card or run out of cards. If you discard an action card, play that card. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I mean, it's like a cross between um, Sound the Horns and, uh, and Wild Wormhole. I really like that. Wow. And it's extra great because you could potentially, like, haunt yourself with this on your way to playing BR Geist. Uh, wow. Cool. Uh, Prototype Harness is an upgrade with an Amber. Gives a creature plus six power and at the start of your turn deal one damage to this creature. Okay, that's fun. That's a, I like the theme. Uh, Into the Warp is an action. When you play it, each player discards the top card of their deck and then you destroy each creature that shares a house with the discarded card. Um, it's, a, it's a fun and interesting one. Pyro is back. Wow, uh, so the Geistwood cards obviously are all new. It's Star Alliance. The only, you know, Badge of Unity is from uh, Winds of Exchange, but everything else so far is new except now Pyro. Pyro is a three power robot with Splash Attack 3, but it can be played as an upgrade, in which case it gives the creatures attached to Splash 3. Peri Perimeter Alarm is an action that lets you use a friendly non-Star Alliance creature, uh, and if you're haunted, you archive Perimeter Alarm. Love that. That's really cool. Got a second Perimeter Alarm. Nice. Uh, Rogue Operation uh, is an action when you play it, you discard the top two cards of your deck, and you steal one Amber for each house represented among the discarded cards. We got Scout Pete, <clears throat> who has a, a, a four-power alien with Play Fight Reap. Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Ooh, and then Sensor Chief Garcia, three-power human with Play Fight Reap. Keys cost plus two during your opponent's next turn. Strength from Diversity is an action with an amber. We got a capture on this one. Uh, it enhances with a capture and a discard. When you play it, you... Uh, each friendly non-Star Alliance creature captures one Amber. Ooh, interesting. Wow, that's good with the with the demo. Um, hmm. Wow. Love it. All right. Um, on to Unfathomable. Kilogog's Trench. Back from Winds of Exchange. It's an artifact and location. It says at the end of your turn, you place a depth counter on Kilogog's Trench, then destroy each creature with power equal to the number of depth counters on Kilogog's Trench. Um, that's a fun one. Oh, <laughs> Omnipus. Okay, interesting. Omnipus is an eight power beast who can't fight. Uh, when you play it, you discard the top eight cards of your deck, and then you play each tentaclid from your discard pile. Uh, after it reaps, you gain one for each friendly tentaclid. Okay, this is super interesting in this set because, um, I mean, we can easily keep playing this back with BR Geist, and you're going to get all the tentacles. I don't know how many tentacles there are going to be in here, but we should really get them all. Wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. And then you can almost certainly use this on your star star alliance turns as well with perimeter alarms and maybe even get the badge of unity on it uh wow that's cool then we have gate watcher a four power aquan with taunt uh and destroyed if your opponent is haunted destroy each enemy flank creature that's very nice stir crazy is an action with an amber when you play it, each ready creature captures one from its opponent. More capture to go with the demo. Love it. <clears throat> Thought Swim is an upgrade with an amber. It gives the creature, while your opponent is haunted, this creature can't be dealt damage. That's pretty cool. 
Beam of Forgetting is an action with an amber. It enhances with a capture and a discard, and when you play it, you reveal a random card from your opponent's hand and put it on the bottom of their deck. Nice. Kokiri Germinator got a capture and a discard icon. Is a 5 power Aquin. After it's played or reaps, you put a card from a player's discard pile on the bottom of their deck. Um, that's really cool because you could use this to benefit yourself, uh, certainly, but you could also use it to clog your opponent's deck. So either way, good options there. Probably in high level play, if you were to use this, you're going to get something from your own discard because your opponent probably doesn't have a lot of bad cards, but um, still really interesting. Tendrils from Beyond. <clears throat> is an action with an amber. When you play it, you choose a creature. If that creature's controller is haunted, return that creature and each of its neighbors to their owner's hand. Otherwise, return that creature to its owner's hand. So it's one, but two more if they're haunted. Or the, the neighbors if they're haunted. Yeah. And then Trawler is a four power Aquan. This one got a capture icon. And it has play if you are haunted capture all your opponent's amber wow okay sheesh uh we've got one tentaclid probably three yeah okay wow that is that's pretty cool so um we've got one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 Amber Pips. Um, but some other interesting stuff. A lot of Taunt. Um, so if you can get the Demo on the board, I feel like we probably have a good chance to protect the Demo. And then when we capture our opponent's Amber, for them to get it back, they have to give us a lot of Amber. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of Amber Control, we have that Capture, which I think is actually pretty effective here. And then um, uh, a potential Steal in Rogue Operation and some Cost Boosting with Garcia. Uh, yeah, mostly it's the Capture, though. <clears throat> so... That's uh, that's pretty interesting. I like it. I'm really excited to try this one, actually. Um, I haven't done my deck with the Guaranteed Revenant yet. I'm saving that for... Uh, we're planning to do an in-person uh, Open Your Revenant sealed event uh, here locally soon. So saving that for that. But I have a few... Uh, I have a few of these... Uh, awakened decks, so I'll be, I'll probably open a lot of them on stream. Um, anyway, this one was fun. Looking forward to actually trying it out and see how it goes. See if it's as strong as it looks. The only thing I think is probably lacking in is uh, some like real player control. Um, there wasn't much of that even in the unfathomable. So it, I'll be. That's that's actually one kind of open question I have. Uh, is it looks to me like the control, the hard like player control and unfathomable is a little lower across the board in this set, and uh, I'm interested to see if if it really is the case or um, or if I'm just guessing wrong. So I guess we'll find out. Uh, hope you can uh, get out there and forge some keys. Thanks.